Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we just finished talking to that uh, Merc kid and he didn't really give us anything we didn't know already, I'm pretty sure, about the Night Song, but we're gonna pick back up from there, figuring out this whole situation. I'm glad I totally forgot about that kid. Like, I remembered him periodically, but... <laughs> I need to sit down one of these days and do some alchemy. Oh, and that's where we kept, that's where, not where we kept Volo, but that is where Volo was kept. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think Minthara was through here. <gasps> rat. What's up for discussion? It's time for discussion with a rat. The foul stench mm -hmm. of slut smell. Life smell. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I knew that there was something down there that was like a strange hollow thing. But. Wait, nope. I just now realized that it was the Underdark and that we have actually been there. And it was too much for us because we are tiny babies. Yes, we can talk to Minthara. Come here. willing to speak dang but no. not to okay now I gotta talk to her I don't know if this is actually useful but um, like I don't know if it's worth it to like waste air quotes these spells at the ready allowing it to answer up to five questions skeletons creatures killed with acid fire lightning necrotic or radiant damage no longer have a mouth and can't be made to use to talk using this spell that is good to know and horrifying also acid fire lightning necrotic or radiant damage necrotic essentially functions as acid i think and radiant essentially functions as fire okay well yes of course you not think seems willing to speak oh. but not to its killer okay luckily I just saved so I'm, I'm actually kind of confused what that means like if it I thought maybe I had landed the killing blow I don't know why the hobgoblin then was willing to talk to us unless the druid was the one who actually killed it I wonder then, actually, if I brought back, or if I, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, we take a nap in here, I switch them out for somebody else, and then, like, Shadowheart or something, you know? I also don't know, maybe if we sleep and then come back, she might be like, nah, I don't talk anymore, you know, and if that's the case, we did the best we could. Let's see, I did get, I did give myself, why can't we take showers? I did give myself a new shirt. I actually don't like it. I preferred my other one. She looks good in it, but I really, I'm, I'm a sucker for like the white v-neck look. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for that look. I think it looks excellent. We are covered in blood. My puppy. speak up. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am keeping well, little, little pet, little bud. I like that your character looks happy too while petting the dog. I think that's just the greatest. Um, if you're not over, then through. Does anybody need to talk to me? Bazelle wants to beat me up again. Let's see. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? 
Oh, okay. We can have this conversation after having done that with him. So what'd you think about what I pictured what I pictured when we were connected by the weed? <laughs> uh, I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. Ah. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Of course, as a paladin, your patron deity endows you with many such powers otherwise unattainable. I do hope you cherish that gift. Interesting. Okay, um, so he brought it up. The being a paladin. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken, as Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. If he is actually... If the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. Floating cities? An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. If he is actually Carsus, then he is a little bit more of a Solus Anders hybrid than I anticipated given who Solus is. <laughs> uh, so at that moment in time, all magic... Oh. Uh, all magic was gone? For a spell. For a spell. <laughs> Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. Try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. I never really thought of wizards as, ha as having, like, patron deities, kind of, because it's kind of what it is, like, yeah, at least for him, anyway. Mistra to him is, like, a patron deity. If you feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. I do think it's funny that everybody's like, uh, yeah, I'm like the de facto leader when I didn't really do anything for it. Everyone's just treating me like that. Like in Inquisition, there's a really good reason, right? Why everyone treats you that way. In Skyrim, there's a good reason everyone kind of treats you that way. Whereas, like, there's nothing special about me versus everybody else. Like, they're it. We all have the tadpole in our heads. We all have guardians of some sort. Like, I just think it's funny that, like, I just became, like, the de facto <laughs> leader in what I say goes. Um, I just, like, I, uh, there's a, there's a part of me that's, like, I need to click all of the conversational options and it's going to bother me if I don't. Oh, but I really don't want, I really want to romance Carlac the mostest. Gale's like fun, but I don't really want to romance Carlac the mostest. So I'm going to save here. 
And I'm gonna see you with this. So what did you think about what I pictured when we were connected by the weave? Oh, I was surprised. But pleasantly so. Just like I said. Amid the madness that has befallen us, it seems almost out of place to think of a romantic walk. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. Ha 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 Stolen glance. That sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. Um, it is also, like, I don't know, going after a guy who's, like, was still in the process of trying to, like, this is something, too, that's making me step back. He was in the process of trying to prove his love for a goddess. Like, I don't want to get in the middle of that. I am going to get in the middle of that because I'm a silly head. But, like, <laughs> realistically, I'd be like, nope. Like, you know, like, that's the big red flag. Not the fact that he's a walking, talking time bomb. Uh, it's the fact that I... That he's in love, or at least at least last I knew he was in love with somebody else, and she's a goddess. Like you don't want to <laughs> mess with that. Uh, okay. And boop 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 boop. Well met. Are you sure? The blade, and just when they... Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, I can ask him a question. He's like, well, hello. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. I really should bring him out more, honestly. He has a useful skill set, and it would be interesting to get his opinion on things. And I appear to have been lucky. I had Will with me when we encountered that party of people who were trying to rescue what turned out to be his dad, you know? And I've had, and well, I didn't have Asterion with me when I found the monster hunter, but I took Asterion back to that guy. And it was like, oh, look, haha, she's a monster hunter, <laughs> you know? I can't believe that guy didn't recognize, like, if he's hunting Asterion, like, how come he didn't recognize him? Like, that feels very weird to me. But also, like, I, w I want Asterion's opinion on some things, like, definitely. Like, he's a vampire, like, his opinion would be interesting. And he's a bit more ruthless than the others, like, than many of, well, than, like, half of them, you know? Something the matter. Join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Okay, yes. Uh, li darling, I just need you for one spell, potentially. Uh, quick save. Oh my gosh, okay, I guess that's a lot of food, but all right. Uh, hey, soldier. Okay. You want to sleep, are you? No, no, totally not. Oh my gosh. I'm buzzing, <laughs> honestly. I couldn't wait to talk to you. Look at us. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Look at us, we're just, we're just sitting here, just gals being pals, just chilling, sitting next to the campfire. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean, when I look at you, it's all I can think about. The way I see my paladin saying this is when she says stuff like this, she means it truly. She's not like doing like an eye waggle, she's like, when I look at you, it's all I can think about is how good life is. Like super sincere in all of this, you know? Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. <laughs> Long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word. A touch. When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. <laughs> Gods, I want to ride you till you see stuff. <laughs> This woman is a gift. She's a 
gift. Thank you, whatever patron deity I have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. Uh, uh, she. Uh, the thing is, I would like. I wouldn't mind being like, heck yeah, <laughs> you know, hell yeah. <laughs> but like, we do have to figure out the infernal engine problem first. I am hoping that when we bring this second piece of infernal iron to the druid grove, we can still talk to that guy. Oh, I may have done the rescuing house and thing too early, but one of my friends said that it was okay to do in the middle, and I figure I'm middle-ish, you know? But now I'm like, oh, shoot, like, geez, I thought we were gonna have, like, a big fight or whatever for the, for the grove first that we'd have to prep for, but no, he's like, let's do a party. We're gonna go bucolic, by the way. It means countryside. It means idyllic countryside. <laughs> so that's what he's saying. Oh, my gosh. Um... I'm going to say, you don't mince words, do you? <laughs> Guess not. I just feel what I feel. No sense hiding it. Um, you don't have to, okay, I... I think what you need to find, we need to find a solution to the infernal engine problem first. I know. What I want and what I can have are two very different things. I'm just... Mm, combustible. Ten years is a long time without anyone's touch but my own. And when I look at you, I just feel <laughs> explosive. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, hmm, maybe. Uh, maybe one kit. What? It's gonna burn my mouth off. Um, Explosive, yeah. I don't blame her, and I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> How about just one kiss? I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. Um, flames get worse when you're excited, right? What if we cool you down? Around you. Tall order. Right. <laughs> but if you've got an idea, I'm all ears. Um, we could read a book. I could tell you what I'd like to do with you. That's not gonna cool her off. I might have some magic that might help me handle your fire. Do I? Sleep on it, maybe. If you've thought of something by morning, I'd love to know. For now, it's enough just to know you care enough to try. No! Come back! <laughs> no! Sleep on it. I could do it right now. Ostensibly. Pup? What's up? What's up, little pup? Hang on. Let me autosave again. Autosave. Quick save. Dog pants <gasps> through a ball held firmly in his I mouth. will play ball with you. Uh, encourage him to drop the ball. I mean, wrestle the ball like like we're playing. We can try. <gasps> the dog is strong, but I'm stronger. You know, this is how, this is like playing. This is what I would do with my dog. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. You have to wrestle it away for funsies. Oh, I don't have, um... Oh. Hang on. Oh, now I can throw it, but I do need to cast... Speak with Animal upon myself. Um... Let's see. Where's the ball? Hey, pup. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Play. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Play fetch with scratch. Okay, hang on. I want to do it again. It squeaks, it squeaks, it's so cute. <gasps> the bestest boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Anyway, let's talk to Carlag really quick. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love her. Um, I'd like to try cooling you down somehow. If you have any ideas, I'm all for it. Give me all you've got. I... <sighs> I'm waiting. Oh, 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 I need to do a spell. I don't actually know any cooldown spells. But maybe I have... Seek and you shall find me. Yes. Okay, let's see if I don't know, I feel like this is maybe a bad idea, but at least things have stayed interesting. Um <laughs> Might even work. Come here. Come here. We're gonna see if it does. Oh no! Dang it! Mm. I'm dizzy. And you? Are you all right? Uh, I saw sparks. Actual sparks. They're still zipping around inside me. Uh, I know I can't have much more than that. Not until we found a more permanent solution to the hellfire issue. I miss the feeling of you already. That's so sweet. God's me too. Aww. That was amazing. But it is what it is, isn't it? I may not be able to have any fun, but you're still free as a lark. I don't mind sharing you with the bookworm oh. when disposed of, oh. by the way. I'm sure he can keep you entertained oh. until I'm more yes. approachable. Yes! <laughs> okay, good to know! Um, you're the only one for me, Carla. Like, listen, she is, but like, it's like... It's, it's like 95% her and 5% Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like 90 10. <laughs> Listen, if there's. So, but the thing is, though, is I might be able to get her infernal engine fixed before the party. Um, but the guy did say to meet him in Baldur's Gate, so maybe maybe we can't get her. That's right, I think he has better facilities at Baldur's Gate. That's what it is, I think. I think he won't be able to fix her there. So if stuff does, does go down at the party, I can be with Gail. But then I'll feel, and I love that, like, she noticed that I was flirt, like, game noticed that I was flirting with him too, right? And she just calls him the bookworm. I'm like, I flirted with Will once, but, like, I think she can tell that I've, I've had more flirting like a tiny bit with gail and i just, i love the intricacies of this and i love that she's like listen every we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do you know like right now i i can't touch you but if you're free as a lark which is kind of not fair to her but it's a video game <laughs> so i'm like well <laughs> i can have the best of both worlds uh, let's just take things as they come the only way to take him, isn't it? <laughs> Her eyebrows. It does. Oh my gosh, is she okay? Oh, it's the ray of frost. Okay. Interesting. All right. What are you thinking about? Um. This seems mean. I don't know, but it's, it's a conversational option, so it's like, is it m more talking to her is good? But at the same time, I'm like, well, this just feels like I keep asking about this, and it's just, like, rubbing it in. I don't know. Hmm. 
sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance. She's a good woman. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me. Little by little, step by step. I'd love to be able to touch you properly. Where would you start? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do like, <laughs> what? Uh, I'd order you to strip naked and take it from there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um. Sure, I'd start by tracing every curve of your body with my fingertips. You give me chills, baby. No mean feet at my temperature. <laughs> God, you better find a way to cool me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. It does feel like I'm teasing her, but I'm not trying to. It's just all the game options are giving me. Um, let's save. New save. It's, I have a name for it. I love Carlac. <laughs> um, but this is all. This is nice. This is nice. I can have a like a little taste of gill, and then I can be like, now time for the main course, <laughs> and that's Carlac. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that's right. We need to leave camp. Yes. And then I'm taking Shadowheart and I'm going to attempt. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, did I grab the. Yeah, there was a white Okay. Magic. Okay. Um, b -b 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 send to Shadowheart. What's next? Nothing's lighting up right now because I don't have it. Like. Oh, okay, I did take her clothes and she's naked. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I know who she is. Dang it, though. Like, uh, because Shadow Heart wasn't here for it, I feel like we're, we're asking like stupid questions. Why did the bugbear let me talk to him? This is weird. What happened to you? Like, I know. Like, I know what happened to you. I know who she is. Where are you from? Under dark. Menzo Baron Zon. Like, these just feel like super basic questions, right? Where, where were the prisoners taken? Moonrise Tower. We already knew that. This feels like a waste, honestly. Who are you? Minzara. Adept House Bane Ray. How can I reach Moonrise Tower safely? Try to lantern. We do know that there is an entrance to the Underdark. What were you doing here? Raiding. Hunting. The Absolutes will. Yeah, but what was the will? The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Dang it. I do love her hair. Well, let's go see if we can talk to... The Priestess. Come, 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 come. Hurry faster, hurry faster. Wait, what? We can't. Wait. Can no longer speak. Okay. I don't know. I feel like that wasn't actually worth it.
like, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like because I didn't know Shadowheart, didn't know Minthara, I couldn't ask the proper questions. So it was just kind of vague. And I guess Dryder Lantern, I don't know if Dryder's like like a deep rider of some sort, some sort of underdark creature that I can use with lanterns. It's been mentioned, I think, once or twice before, something about Dryders and lanterns. I don't know. I do not know anything. I know very little anyway. So, I'm actually gonna have Shadowheart stay here. And I'm gonna bring Will Break back deep up. and move. Maybe I could have Asterion kill the goblin. This one? Something the matter. Stay here. If you're sure. Yeah. Fine. I'll be here when you rediscover your taste in company. Yeah, okay. Where's Will? Come on, Will. A private word would be nice. Well met. If we're gonna do the Druid Grove right now, I wanna bring Will. Yeah, I think we need to follow through with that. That's the Because I keep starting and stopping things, but at this point, we just need to follow through. As far as I know, the doing the Druid thing... Like, you can still do other things after that. Like, we can still rescue Will's dad. We can still do the Bog Witch. You know, we can still do all of that. Which I, which would be more helpful now. I did realize, too, that because I can see invisibility, the hag fight will be easier. Uh, because she can't hide from me. Haha. <laughs> to be fair, too, fairy fire is, I think, something that makes invisible things visible. So I could just slam fairy fire out. Um, but I think I equipped Will with a mace or something? No, I didn't equip Will with it. I was going to give it to Shadowheart if I brought her out. Defender of the people. Let's put it... Or I may, I may have actually already sent it to the chest. Because I wanted to give it to him, but he's not... He's, he has only finesse weapons. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.